I'm saying is, all I'm saying, we've got to think about the consequences of that. You know, we do get all this, this cheap stuff, we do get this cheap stuff, but the standard of comedy is going to go downhill, you know? Maybe we should pay a bit more and have a laugh. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's literally all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you another way of putting it. The other day I went to buy some trainers, right? And I, in the end, I settled on a pair of New Balance trainers because they're made in this country. And they're a bit more expensive, but to me, it was worth it to pay those few extra quid to be safe in the knowledge that a kid in China is out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> if I could put one child on the doll, bloody proud of myself. <laughs> People think I'm having to go to the Chinese. I'm not. I'm just waking us up to this, this situation we're getting into. It. And what I'm saying is we've got to take a bit more responsibility. Wealth creation is what I'm talking about. We've all got to come up with wealth creation ideas. You know that guy Dyson? You know that guy Dyson? He's always coming up with ideas. You know people say everyone's got a book in them, which I don't think is true. I think most people haven't even got a piece of advice in them, right? <laughs> we can all think about ways to make the world around us a better place. You know, come up with wealth creation ideas. Like, I've come up with two apps. Big hitters. These two apps are brilliant. They're going to make a load of money. The first app, wherever you are in the world, it tells you what the bin collection days are. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? You're in Rio de Janeiro, you've got two bags of rubbish, don't know when to put them out, you know? They're leaking, so they're going all over your dancing shoes. <laughs> you don't speak the lingo. Senor, when do you put the bins out, you know? Just go on the app, half past two, Tuesday afternoon. Lovely. Off to the carnival. <laughs> Everyone in the world will want that app, right? The second app's even better, right? If you ever look at pornography on your mobile phone, it tells everyone in your contacts list. Everyone... <laughs> everyone gets a text, you know? And people say, well, why would I want that? Why wouldn't you? I bought it for you, darling. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> Of course, eventually you would, you would. You'd be in a travel lodge, three o'clock in the morning, you go, sod it, let them know. Let them know! <laughs> Open the hotel window, shout across a dual carriageway. I'm having a wank, all right? <laughs> it's an emotion, it's like crying. <laughs> I don't know what would be worse, friends and family getting the text, or just a plumber you used once. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm always thinking of wealth creation ideas. You know like how HMV struggles now because of how we get music, because it was records, cassettes, CDs, now it's downloads. I'm already thinking about how we're going to get music in the future. Man, yeah! And I think in the future, we're going to get music in the form of a gas. Yeah! <laughs> how hard can it be to turn music, which is already in the air, into gas? <laughs> I'll let the boffins sort that one out. <laughs> and you'll go to HMV. You know like those inhalers asthmatics have, right? Just fill one of those up with all your music, like that. And you just inhale it like that. And all the music will be in your brain. <laughs> and you can play it whenever you want. Summer breeze, make me feel fine. I don't want this one. How do I change it? Blink, mm, pump up the jam, pump it up while the feet are stumping and your feet are moving. Mm -mm. He's a little white bull. Every day he came down to a little white bull. I wouldn't be an early adopter on it. That's all I'm saying. You know. <laughs> take a while. You know. That's a great idea. Please take these ideas, make your fortunes. It's my gift. <laughs> like, I realised something amazing the other day. I was fiddling around looking for a radio station, and I suddenly realised something. It's, it's incredible. You won't believe this, right? But um, you know, there's radio stations for every type of music: soul, jazz, rock, reggae, pop music. There's no radio station for scat music. Yeah. You know, if you fancy listening to a bit of scat music, there's no scat FM, and you just put it on there, and you're just like... <laughs> 24-hour scat. <laughs> All scat, no chat. Yeah! <laughs> Imagine how brilliant that is, especially if you've got guests who you want to leave your home. <laughs> Can you turn it down a bit? No, I like it. <laughs> While I'm on the subject, there's also, there's no yodelling FM. Oh. <laughs> I'm fascinated by yodelling. No, I'm a fa you know yodelling, the Swiss yodeler? You know they go, yodel, yodel, hoo, hoo. Do you know that's a message? That's a way of communicating through the mountains. And the Swiss did that for years. 
until, of course, they discovered shouting, and that changed their lives. <laughs> One day, a fellow was going, yodel, yodel, hoo, hoo. Another fellow went, step back, try this, just try this, try it, it's an idea. I've had it, try it, try it. Have you seen my cow? <laughs> Oh!